Hi guys, it's Shannon the Garden Girl from Georgina Garden Center. Today I'm transplanting, and I might be saying this wrong, Monstera Stanliana. Um, I got this for my birthday. I'm not going to say what milestone birthday it was, but it was a milestone birthday from my sister and my brother-in-law. And I absolutely love it. Um, it has green and white leaves, white speckles. Some have really big green, or sorry, white variegated leaves on it and when I got it it only had about four leaves I think two have come off since then which is fine because older leaves come off and I've gotten more kind of pretty much one leaf a month sometimes a little bit more and then also it's getting really really long and the last little bit doesn't have any leaves because it was actually like got into the corner of my where I had it in the window and it just didn't produce any leaves there so and I've only had this for just over a year. I don't normally transplant my tropicals that soon. However, it is very long and I do want it to go up a moss pole now. So I don't wanna wait longer to transplant it. So in my previous video, few videos, I've done the moss pole for it or my coconut core pole. And I've also made some potting soil for it. What I did with this is this pot is only a four inch. So I can only go up one size. So I'm going to a six inch. Now my pole is four feet tall, so it's gonna knock my six inch pot over. So I've stapled the pole to the pot and I'll have to put this in a decorative pot to keep it upright. And right now I just have it resting against my umbrella because it is so top heavy. The pole is way too big for the pot, but I wanted a big pole because as, as a plant gets bigger and I tra if I transplant it again, I don't wanna have to take it off a pole to get it onto a bigger pole. So I'm going for a big pole. So I'm gonna put some of my mix of soil that I made up in my previous video in here. It has lots of bark, coconut um, husk, perlite. So it's very well draining. Holds enough moisture, but it's very well draining for this Monstera. So I'm putting, putting quite a bit in the pot. Almost full, but I'm leaving a hole in the center so I can put the Monstera in. Okay. Now, gently taking him out. Okay, so he has lots of good roots on there. I'm just gonna open the roots just a little bit, not disturb him too much, but just so he knows that he can start growing again, expanding those roots. And when you do transplant, make sure your plant's well watered. This one I've watered this morning, so make sure it's well watered before you plant because you're shocking it by moving it. So you don't want to shock it by having it dry and moving it. Let me take a little bit out. It'd be easier if um, I didn't have to have it supported on the umbrella stand. So I'm just going to turn the plant. So it's growing towards the pole. So I'm gonna hold it in there and then put that back in. Now I'm not actually adding, I know it kind of looks like it, I'm not adding any extra soil on top of the existing soil that it was growing in. You don't wanna bury your plants. You keep the top level that was in this pot that level is the same level in the new pot. Okay, so there it's in there. Okay, I can still see the original soil around it. I put the good soil in there. And you also don't wanna pack potting soil because you want the air space. Um, you can push it down a little bit, but don't start packing it in so it's really compact. The whole point of potting soil is to have airspace, especially with this mix with a lot of perlite and bark and etc. in it. So now that I have it planted in here, I am going to try to um, put it up the pole and I'm going to use twist ties, I think. I would like to use, um, but I don't have any, so I have to try and find some. Some, it's almost like a staple for a plant. They're like U-shaped, they're silver, really thin, and you just place it over either side of the stem into the cocoa or the moss and it will hold that, hold it into place. Then 
the plant will produce its air roots or whatever other roots it has to attach to the pole. So I will try to very carefully to put some twist ties together here. And I don't want to do it too tight because I'm not, I don't want to cut into the stem of the Monstera. You just want it on there enough that it will eventually take hold. Also, one um, care tip when you have a moss pole is make sure you, not only you're watering the plant as needed, you're misting the moss because the, it will help with the roots on there as well. So I'm going to very carefully without breaking my little baby here. I might have to fix this up after, but... probably cry if something happened to this guy. <clears throat> we should have done longer twist ties, but I didn't want to waste these twist ties, so stick two together. might I might just do the top because that doesn't want to bend so I think though if having it like this it will eventually straighten because I keep it in a bright window it will eventually straighten so I'm just gonna leave it really loose for now just until it conforms more to the pole and then as it does I will keep adding twist ties to the pole so here's my if I'm saying it correctly Monstera Stanleyana partly on its pole doesn't look like much now but this will be look how tall this is and it will go up past the top of the pole so we're gonna put this in back in its bright sunny spot it was in and a nice decorative pot to keep this upright because it is very top heavy right now because of the size of the pot have a great day guys